everybody and welcome back to my channel I'm back with yet another video and this is going to be a head-to-head -head comparison between the two totes from Louis Vuitton uh, we're gonna look at the Louis Vuitton Tadao in Damia Graffiti and we're gonna look at the Louis Vuitton Davis in the monogram Makassar print so I have individual reviews on this particular bags um, so you can see that on my channel this is more about just my thoughts uh, about the two bags in in the terms of you know how do they differ between each other and you know what are some of the things you should consider when you are looking for this uh, style of totes so here is the the Davis in the Makassar print um, I have bought this bag not so long ago actually and been using it now for a couple of times so I have a bit of a thought around it and you know some of the uh, pluses and maybe some of the, the minuses if I can say so uh, on this particular bag and then the second bag that we're gonna look at so the comparison is gonna be between you know the these two bags right so this is the Tadao and this is the, the Davis tote so there we go I think both of them are in the in the frame another thing which I'm doing today a bit differently and first time on my channel is I am recording the audio um, on two sources so I'm recording on my Canon G7X and I'm recording the video obviously on it plus I'm recording the audio on it but below that and you guys cannot see that now and maybe you know I'll take a picture of that and I'll insert it if you're interested um, I have attached a mini mic from Rode uh, that uh, I've been recommended to use uh, or Super Dacup if you know him or if you're checking out his channel if you're not you should um, recommend this video exactly for the purpose you know when you are trying to zoom in on a, a detail on a particular item um, your um, camera is gonna make noises which you can hear in the video because it's zooming in that particular item um, on the other side, um, when you have an external microphone, that probably is not going to be heard. So I'm going to try to, you know, see which audio is better. Um, maybe probably try to mix this together. So um, let's see. Okay. Aside from that, let's go back to the to the comparison at hand. So what do we have here? So we have two totes, and let's talk first about, you know, the similarities. So both of them have, you know, these grab handles on the top where is as, as you can see here i think it's pretty clear the drop on the handles is absolutely identical so there is no difference on the drop on the handles of this particular bags another similarity is both of them have d rings on the side right for attaching your strap and the strap itself um I don't know where I have put it now, of course, maybe in the other one. Okay, here we go. So the strap is identical. It's one of these canvas straps, um, which you know from Porte Document Jour or from Porte Documents Voyage with the, the, the Louis Vuitton claw. Here we go. So you would get a strap like that on both of the toes, so there's no difference there. Um, as from the terms of functionality and size wise although you know it kind of tricks me I, 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 I all the time when I'm looking at them and you know here's one here's the other I have a feeling that the Dao is bigger um, but if you check uh, the the measurements online and I'll insert them down um, they are measured as identical size bags so um, it has to be probably the truth maybe just the way this one slouched or this one is not slouching or whatnot it's just making this bag appear a tad smaller than this bag but online the reference to the um, to the size comparison is absolutely the same um, now let's come to the differences and I'll stay on the outside so first of all the first difference that you know that is um, the Davis uh, straps are attached here but then they're not followed through with a piece of leather to go down on each side like that's uh, the case on the Tadao so in my honest opinion is you know that this would make this bag 
um, a bit more resilient when, or a kind of a bit more sturdier or heavy wearing than this bag. Because this bag, you know, because it doesn't have all the way down the leather, is maybe not so strong. Yeah, that would be the right thing. Not so strong as, as this particular bag. So that's the one outside difference. The second outside difference is the bottom. So the Tadao, as you can see, the bottom here. So the bottom on this bag is made out of canvas, right? It is though kind of, there is like a double bottom, I believe. So there's one piece here and there is another piece on the top that kind of makes this more structured, more sturdier. While on the other bag, you have a leather bottom with feet. So you have a leather bottom with feet, which have little Louis Vuitton signs on it, I believe. Yeah, it says Louis Vuitton. And it just, you know, kind of, I, I prefer this to the other one. I found this a bit boring. I can bring both of them here. There we go. So you see, this one just kind of looks more classy, in my opinion, than this one. Nothing wrong with this. And, you know, actually, to be completely honest, I do not believe, you know, from the totes, which are slouchy like these ones are, you know, that you're gonna benefit massively from these feet here. I do believe they are more, you know, like for the looks than, you know, for the actual functionality. But that's, you know, one of the differences also. And then from one big, big difference is this tote inside, so the Davis um, only has like, and this is not even like, you know, snap in, this is only magnetic. And I was talking about it in my other video. I'll try to mimic this here again. Yeah, there we go. You see, it's just, this is just magnet. So when you're gonna load this bag up, you know, this, this is pretty much open, right? So I don't know how, you know, if you care about that or not, but this is one of the big differences while on the Tadao, um, you get the zipper, right? So when you close this bag up, um, it is completely secure. There we go. So, you know, there is no way something's gonna fall out of this bag. Um, and, you know, there is a benefit to that. Of course, there is a security benefit to that where, you know, this is closed. So, you know, if you're um, using public transport to go to work, like buses or trams or underground or whatnot, and it might be overcrowded, um, you, you know, you could, uh, you know, avoid the pickpocket or, you know, just security is better, better with this bag because it closes while this one... You know it's open it's a traditional tote let's call it kind of traditional tote concept uh, my recommendation is that you know if you're using that uh, uh, the good thing to do and a lot of people do that um, is you know throw a scarf on the top so kind of scarf acts like a protection from you know the eyes peeking into your bag seeing you know what you have because probably you're carrying around computers or iPads or whatnot you know phones and other valuables wallets of course um, and you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want people looking in your bag, you know, what's in there. So that's one big difference. So if you need to have a zipper, you know, the DAO then is the way to go. If you don't care about the zipper, uh, you know, then, then this is also a valuable option. And then for the last piece inside, I have a dust bag here. Um, so the organization in Tadao and the organization in the uh, in the Davis is a bit different. So first of all, in the Tadao, um, you have one of these, at least in mine, and this is a 2012, I think, bag. Uh, the large Tadao, not the PM one. Um, I have, uh, you know, I don't know how much you're going to see that, guys, but you believe me. There's a little pocket here for what used to be a phone pocket. And there is like a bigger pocket here and there is another pocket like a bigger one on the other side and that one is lined with leather there we go you can see that there and that's it so um there is no d-ring in this bag and there is um, no zipper compartment in this bag which is not a problem because you have the zipper um you know on the outside of the bag um one thing and i'm gonna go on the storage later so you know to the other bag now inside as i said because you don't have the zipper they do include a zipper pocket here quite a large one for quote unquote your valuables and then 
um, you have on the other side like two slip pockets both of them lined with leather and of course the inter internal color is different this is like a burgundy color and in the Damier graffiti you get um, just the black interior and another thing is here you get uh, on the side of the zipper pocket you also get a d-ring which you can probably see there okay so these are you know really all the differences between these two bags another thing is also i should have mentioned this generally this bag you know hit me on the glasses um this bag you know is just much more slouchy kind of soft kind of going bag while the other one is much more structured so if you're into structured bags um if you're you know it, it it must have a zipper and so on so this is probably the bag to go for for you if you don't care that much if you like more the casual look um and you don't care that the bag does not really have a zipper on the top then this is a really nice option now personally for me i really like both of these bags um for different kind of purposes right um, this one, I, I, I tend to, you know, I can pull this bag off easily anywhere, anytime, also as a business bag. And I use it for, you know, going to work. I used it for traveling. I used it for going shopping, you know, because totes are great shopping bags, as everybody know. Um, so it's super, super versatile. This one, on the other hand, um, it's not so versatile, you know, it's not so secure. So I don't use this one that much. But it is beautiful, I, you know, design-wise and just, you know, looks-wise, this one is beautiful. Another thing which I notice now, and uh, because I have the, many of you know, I have the Porte Document Jour in the same print, is I really love the Makassar uh, configuration. I'll tell you why, because, you know, usually I, I, I'm one of the people that, you know, when I'm wearing a brown bag, um, usually I need to wear brown shoes. I just don't like brown bags with black shoes. I know you can do it and nothing's wrong with that. Um, but just for me, it just, it doesn't, I don't like that. But, you know, with this bag, since it has the black trim, as you can see here, a lot of, quite a lot of black trim actually. You can wear this bag with brown or with black shoes. So this is one of the you know the benefits of this kind of setup while this one you can wear with brown shoes but you know just this one is completely black there is nothing brown on this bag so this one is more versatile from that perspective on the other side um not that it matters to me but to some of you guys you know this bag is more unisex um than this bag and actually this bag um been you know a lot of my female friends uh, really like this bag and has told me that they would have you know without any problem you know use and wear this bag i mean this particular bag the davis while this one they found a lit a little bit on the masculine side again they not they they wouldn't wear it but you know they just preferred this one um you know to this one in the terms of you know kind of you know being more of uh, have a bit of more femi feminine piece, you know, than the than the Tadao has. Um, this one is, is as, as you probably know, it's been released, um, when it was released, it's now discontinued, sadly, um, uh, in the men's collection. So it's a men's bag. But, you know, because it's monogram and just the way it's set up as a traditional slouchy tote, uh, a lot of women tend to gravitate to it. And there is a benefit of the black hardware and the black leather is because if you get this with the Vachetta configuration, not that you can get this particular bag, but some other one, um, you will, you know, you will get the patina. So if you're not a fan of patina and you don't like that, and some of them, some of us, including me, um, are not fans of patina, um, then the Makassar, you know, is a, is a great, great option. Um, as for, you know, taking, and I think I... Uh, taking stuff around i think i showed that last time but i'll just you know demonstrate this really quickly this is a macbook 13 pro and as you can see easily this way easily that way these bags are really big um the same you know the same thing applies to the um to the pedal obviously so there we go so this has been pretty much, you know, my comparison. I just want to give you this, you know, these two bags together. So if you're looking for something like that and you're undecided, 
um, uh, or you just like to watch these videos and get some information on these bags um, I put this one out for you guys so you can see you know what the differences are in my opinion of course you can have you know a different view on this but this is just my two cents on these two bags um, anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you will you know subscribe and hit the like button if you're not subscribed yet and I will be back with another video very very soon but for now I bid you adieu and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day and bye for now.